Hello and welcome. Let's take all of those photos sitting in your camera roll, the view from your hotel room, the wine glass in your hand, the cruise ship selfies, and let's turn them into scroll stopping Instagram carousel posts. So you don't need anything fancy in Canva, no professional photos. In fact, this kind of carousels works best with the photos straight from your camera roll. So personal, behind the scenes, that kind of vibe. Now these are perfect for sharing things like mini destination guides, cruise ship tours, shore excursions, itinerary, real life client interactions. It's an easy way to show your expertise and your personality. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that step by step using your own travel photos to create something like what you see here. So I actually got this idea from a creator that I follow who shares her travel stories in such a simple and beautiful way. She makes historic travel feel personal and exciting. And I thought this is perfect for my travel agent community. So if you're new to carousels, think of them like a curated photo dump with a bit more intention. So you're not just sharing pretty pictures, but you're telling a mini story. It's low effort, high impact content, perfect for those days when you wanna post something, but you're not quite sure what to say. So a quick heads up, I have put together a drag and drop carousel template kit that'll make this even easier for you. So it's got tons of layout, cover slides, fonts, and a storytelling guide all ready to go. It's just $5 and it is super affordable if you wanna save time and skip starting from scratch. So I will show you more about this at the end. So let's get started and jump into today's tutorial. From our Canva home screen, we want to come to where it says social media here in the red, and then we wanna click on Instagram. And what we are looking for is this Instagram post, the four by five, so the 1080 by 1350. So if we click on this and open up a brand new page, so this is the cover page for our carousel. So the first thing that I like to do is to do the frame in which I can drag and drop my images for the background. So to do this, I'm going to come over the side to where it says elements and I'm going to click frame. So frame here, we are just looking for this very first one, which is a square. And now I'm just going to reposition the square to the top corner and I'm going to use the little points on the side to drag this out to be the same size as the carousel. Now to make this a little bit easier in terms of creating our six slides for our carousel, I am going to also put our text in as well. So to do this, I'm going to come over to the side to where it says text and I'm going to click to add the text box. So for our carousel, we are wanting to use font styles that are native to the Instagram platform. So this is basically, this means that we want to use fonts that look very similar to what you would do on Instagram if you were creating this post from directly within Instagram. So the font style that we are going to use is called Roboto. And it is the bold option. So what I'm also going to do is because I know that my images from my camera roll, so directly off my phone, these are beach day photos from my, um, my oldest. And this was when she was very small. So I know that these images are a little bit dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a background on my text as well. So to do this, what we are going to do is I'm just going to highlight the text and then I'm going to click effect and then it's behind my head. So if I move my head to the side a little bit here, you can see uh, background. So if I click background, it puts this yellow on it. Now, again, if I move my head to the side, so you can see the yellow down the bottom here and I'm just going to change this to white. So this is, um, really basic black on white or you can do it the other way around but to keep this really simple and to suit the instagram platform we are just going to do a black text with a white background now the other thing that i want to do is i just want to make this text a little bit larger as well um, so i'm going to let's try 40 i think 40 is nice all right so now what we can do from here is we can just duplicate our page so that we have six. So five, six. Okay. 
and scrolling back up the top. So this is our cover page, which should have our hook on it. So to go with my theme, the trip that, uh, or the tip that I'm wanting to share is about um, going to the beach with a little one. So I have my text pre-written. So I am just going to um, go ahead and copy and paste all of my text in. So I have cheated and pre-written um, my text, but you absolutely don't have to do that. You can go ahead and um, write it as you're going, uh, if that works for you. So just bear with me. And we just need to resize these boxes a little bit too. And we will work on placement when we put our pictures in the background as well. And our last slide needs our call to action. So our call to action in this instance is a request to follow our account. So I chose this particular um, CTA because it isn't salesy, it's not pushy, and it's a really nice introduction to you and your services and what you do, what your personality is like, but also softly or gently nudging your audience to keep following you for more content. So it's a really nice way of doing it and it's one of my favorite at the moment. So this is, um, yeah, this is what I've used in the templates that I have for you guys. So um, I hope that you stick around is a really nice way to invite the audience to keep following you. All right, so here we are back at the top. Now I have my photos, my beach day photos already uploaded. So I am just going to drag and drop these particular images. So you can see I can just double click and rearrange um, and, re and sorry, move the image around so that it suits what I want it to do. Um, so let's add this one. And then what I'm doing is I'm just moving the text around a little bit just so that it fits nicely within the picture. Um, so there's no hard and fast rules on where the text should go. Um, I just would say, just make sure that you do have some sort of border around your text, um, top from the sides and down the bottom as well. Um, but really anywhere in this vicinity is perfectly fine. Um, This one, I actually might put it up the top a little bit. And again, we can just squish the text over here so that it fits nicely in. And then for our page that has our CTA, I think it's a really nice idea to have you in the image as well. Um, so this one, or perhaps this other picture of me, I think having a picture of you in or on the last page is really good. Even if it's just your back or you know your smiling face or something like that, because this is a very personal feel to a carousel. So I think it's important to have you particularly on the last page somehow, even if it's just the side of you. So if we switch to our grid view and have a look at this thing overall, this gives you a feel of what it would look like for your audience to be swiping through each of the pages. So you can see that I've got each of the tips going across and then a really nice um, soft introduction to me and request for them to continue uh, following my Instagram account. 
So in terms of downloading and getting this onto um, Canva, sorry, onto Instagram itself, we would normally click up the top and go share and we would be looking for our Instagram. However, a quick note at the moment that the scheduler only allows us to select one page to post at a time. So unfortunately, our carousels are multiple pages. So what we need to do is we need to individually download them. So if we go share, download, we want to select our PNG and then we want to select, um, go through and select our page one, page two and download them individually. So if you do have Instagram on your phone, I would recommend doing the download process on the Canva app itself because that way you are downloading directly onto your phone. And then when you're in your Instagram account, you can easily just pick your images, your carousel images up from your, um, your photo library um, because that's where they get downloaded to. So just like that, you have shared something personal, useful and scroll stopping. Didn't overthink it, you already had the photos and now you have the how-to on actually to put it together. So if feeling, if you are feeling overwhelmed starting this from scratch, I made something that is going to give you a shortcut. So it's called the Drag and Drop Carousel Builder and it's a flexible Canva kit with 48 layout frames. It's got eight matching cover slides drag and drop photo slots, simple text overlay. It's got all of the Instagram font dupes. Everything is editable, editable and ready for you to go. So you can see I've got um, eight carousel idea here ready to go. So also included is a bonus storytelling prompt guide and this has captions, hooks, layout tips. It's got carousel post ideas, font size, font styles, sizing info, basically everything that I use to create my demonstration for this video, it's all together and all bundled ready for you to go. So if you are watching this and thinking, I can actually do this with my last fam or from your own personal vacation photos, you absolutely can. But if you grab my full carousel builder kit from my shop, it'll give you that little bit of the extra push you need. So whether you are starting from a blank canvas and designing like I did today or using my kit to speed things up, the most important thing is that you just start. So your photo tells a story. So let's help them say something worth swiping for. And that's it. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.